My name is Lamia Al Hazani. I am from Saudi Arabia. I am one of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation Fellows in 2024. And uh, my health care journey started in 2012 as a patient educator, educating patients with diabetes, uh, pediatric patients, uh, maternal and uh, cancer patients. And then um, in 2017, I started as uh, the patient empowerment uh, section head to help uh, patients to uh, get engaged and empowered uh, and prevent the preventable harm. And now I am working as the Partnerships and Collaboration Manager uh, to partner with local, regional, international entities, all to uh, enhance patient safety from all over the world, and especially in our country in Saudi Arabia. And I would like to say Happy Women's Day to all. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Afifa Munawwar. I've been part of fellowship program with Patient Safety Movement Foundation. On the Women's Day, I feel glad to share my journey in the healthcare that I have started work at patient bedside where I have seen the provision of un unsafe healthcare services, the patient issues and their challenges. At that time, I thought that I will bring transformation in healthcare sector in Pakistan. Based on my effort, I became a public health specialist and working with WHO Country Office Pakistan, my focus areas are patient safety, quality of care and hospital sector. If we see the history that healthcare sector role have been dominated by the men, where women face challenges, breaking, uh, I can say breaking the glass ceiling to reach the top position. So on the women's day, I feel honored to say that I am a change agent of patient safety, quality of care and hospital sector in Pakistan where I brought marvelous changes. I can say I develop a policy document for the government of Pakistan on the patient safety and hospital sector. I trained more than 350, hospi 350 hospital manager on, on healthcare services. So on the, uh, on the Women's Day, I would like to raise my voice that I am committed to build the safe healthcare culture in Pakistan. Happy Women's Day! Happy Women's Day! Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Porto, a fellow of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. As we celebrate International Women's Day, I speak before you as a grateful beneficiary of the tireless efforts of remarkable women who paved the way for equality in our field. Thanks to their initiatives of this inspiring women before us, women in healthcare today feel empowered and appreciated. We are now afforded opportunities to engage in training, leadership roles, and decision-making processes that are shaping the landscape of healthcare for the better. In the Philippines, significant strides have been made to address women's specific healthcare needs. For instance, the implementation of laws supporting breastfeeding in the workplace has been a crucial step in promoting the health and well-being of mothers and infants. Additionally, the expansion of maternity leave policies has provided women with necessary time to recover from childbirth and bond with their newborns without compromising their financial security. This year's theme for International Women's Day, Inspire Inclusion, serves as a reminder for us to cultivate environments where all women are esteemed and have a seat on the table. Let us commemorate the milestones we have achieved and seize the opportunities that lie ahead. Together, we can continue to amplify women's voices, address women's specific health needs, and strive for a more safe, inclusive and equitable future. Happy International Women's Day. I'm Comfort King Bai from Liberia, West Africa. I hold a Bachelor of Science degree in General Nursing. Presently, I serve as the Quality Assurance Coordinator at the Ministry of Health, specifically in the Healthcare Quality Management. My journey as a woman in healthcare started during the outbreak of the Ebola virus disease in 2014. During that time, all health workers were asked to volunteer their services to beef up the fight against the deadly disease. 
This experience was challenging and very emotional as many lives were lost due to the fragile health system, misinformed professional and limited resources. One of the saddest moments was watching my friend who was a nurse die because of a breach in standard precautions. Over my nine years career, I have witnessed challenges women and girls go through seeking health care. Some of the challenges are traveling long distances to health facilities only to hear insufficient medication, lack of basic IPC supplies, and unaffordable restrictions. The disparity became very during one of my fees for the gym, where we encounter a primary gravity in profound labor, unable to access proper health care due to financial constraints and facility limitation. Responding promptly, we, we facilitated the delivery right in the car on our way to the hospital. Now, recognizing the persistent riches in health equity, I believe women are inspired to be included. If there is a sense of belonging, relevance, and empowerment, women see beyond the horizon Men Happy International Women. I am a woman. You are a woman. I love you. My journey in healthcare has been rich with the experiences, challenges, and growth. It all commenced with a profound conviction and unwavering dedication to the field of quality and patient safety. From the beginning, I knew that I wanted to study this field and to make tangible improvements in the healthcare industry. Fueled by this passion, I embarked on a continuous journey of self-development. I seized every opportunity possible to develop my skills and increase my knowledge in this field. I attended conferences, webinars, training sessions, attained certifications in the field of quality and patient safety, and I also participated in several projects to improve the patient experience, health outcomes, and optimize processes. I'm always committed to diversify my field of expertise, to step outside my comfort zone, and to adapt and adopt to this ever-changing landscape in the healthcare industry. During my professional journey, I had the privilege of being part of transformative initiatives. It was a great honor to work with diverse team members and healthcare professionals. I worked on setting quality management programs for starting hospitals, and I also assumed leadership roles, fostering a culture of quality, continuous quality improvement, elevating patient services, and refining management styles. I'm a firm believer in collective and cooperative work. I totally believe that we rise by lifting each other up that we can empower each other to achieve shared successes. That's why I'm always committed, committed to lending a helping hand to guide others, to mentor others in order to achieve their professional goals. I look at my journey so far and I reflect on it and I'm filled with gratitude and appreciation for all of the milestones that I have achieved and the invaluable lessons that I learned along the way. And I also look ahead and I'm ready to embrace additional opportunities and challenges. Steadfast in my commitment to make a meaningful contribution to the healthcare field and to have a positive impact. And definitely, I will not be doing it alone. I will also collaborate with all of my colleagues in order to have a positive impact in the healthcare field. Thank you.